Thanks. I'm playing a Lucene acoustic guitar. And uh, I'm at the, the shop out here in Oakville, Canada, in Ontario. I'm from Ontario, Canada. Um, and here's the deal. Um, Garen contacted me and said, I make kick-ass acoustic, acoustics, and I want to make a kick-ass acoustic for you. And uh, I came uh, to, to town to visit, and I came by the shop, and I played this. This is the shop guitar. And he goes, it's just the shop guitar. Almost apologetically, right? Like, it's just the shop guitar. I'm like, I pick it up, and I'm like, what do you mean? I don't, I'll take this, right? The way it is. Done. You know, because it plays amazing. It sounds amazing. I mean, the intonation across the board is fantastic. Um, the sound is awesome. I can't, I'd love to record this. But anyways, we went through specs. And we went through all kinds of different, uh, different like sizes. We talked about sizes, so we went with a 16 inch body. And then um, there was different kinds of woods. We're talking about different kinds of woods. And I know about like electric guitars, like mahogany and maple. I know I like alder strats. Um, I know I like maple necks, so, but acoustic is a different thing for me, and I, I know I have, uh, I've been recording a J100, a Gibson J100 in, in LA for, for years now, with great success, but I wanted something that didn't sound like that, and I wanted something that had a different characteristic when I played it, and, and then when I played this, it was almost like exactly what I was looking for. So I think we went with similar makeup, body makeup, yeah. but uh, we went for, the back and the sides is Hawaiian Koa, it's a Sitka spruce top um, and bear claw because it looks like it's been swiped by a bear claw kind of thing. And uh, ebony fretboard, bridge and bindings. Um, and there's uh, the sound port. Now, um, this guitar, because it's a shop guitar, doesn't have a, 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 the ash hole, is what we call it. But there'd be a hole right here. You can get an oval, an oval shape or a round shape or even a pick if you like, well, without the hole. What that does is, if you you know when you're playing an acoustic guitar, the sound is coming forward; it's projecting in front of you, so you don't really get to hear the true essence of the instrument. With the hole here, it gives you what's the percentage? Thirty. Thirty percent sound coming through the hole. Now, it's sending it to your ear, so it's awesome for you. But also, I mean, I can't wait to see what it sounds like mic. You know, you have your mic where you usually mic the guitar here, and put a little pencil mic and at the hole and off to this off axis to hear what that sounds like and then you can blend the two and probably get really cool textures. So I'm looking forward to that. We just, why don't we just get, you know, the, the doorknob drill hole? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be perfect. So uh, I'm also getting something that um, Garen introduced to me that I'd never seen before. It's because sometimes I'll be in the studio and I'll pay for 12, play for 12 hours and because this is such a, a right angle, I think uh, the blood going to my hand is getting cut off, right? So uh, there's a bevel that's going to be put here, almost like a, a strap, right? But it's I've never seen it on an acoustic guitar, so it's really amazing. I'm gonna be have, I'm gonna have ebony binding, and it's gonna meet this. If you can picture it being a bevel here to relieve the right angle digging into your forearm cutting off your circulation. So that's awesome as well. I'm very excited about that. Uh, custom inlay is going to be, uh, you can get whatever you want. I didn't want any inlay at all except for something on the 12th fret, so we're looking for a really cool X. I know, you're thinking, you typical bastard, but um, sometimes that's what I do. Um, the scale length is 25 and a half inches, and um, a bow nut and saddle. Oh, and if you, I don't know if you can see, I don't even know how to zoom in. But uh, you carved the saddle yourself, right? Yeah. And it's perfectly intonated. It's thing. It just sounds awesome. I'm really excited. Um, and there's also around the hole, as for a round hole. And uh, the, wood, the wood that you see in here is the same as the sides on this guitar. So it's also going to be uh, the Hawaiian Koa on line white, right? And, um, and yeah, it's just a beautiful guitar, and I can't wait to get mine. <laughs> yeah. But, and everybody's going, everybody's on Facebook, because Garen's amazing. He's doing a play-by-play -play on Facebook and posts the pictures on my Facebook page. And uh, people are like, wow, is your guitar done yet? He's working so fast. But then I'm like, so Garen, how long did it take? It's like four months or something because of the curing, the setting of the wood, the curing of the, of the, uh, 
the finish and all that stuff. So it is going to be a few more months. Uh, probably not even for Christmas, right? We're shooting for Christmas. We're shooting for Christmas. But, um, should I play something? Play some songs. Okay, wait. I'm going to do my famous Stairway to Hell. <laughs>
Guitars. Garen, is the, come and say hi. This is Garen, builder of fabulous instruments. Thank you. And uh, and what's, Lucine was your mother's name, right? My mom's name, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was her dream. Yeah. See, so um, making beautiful instruments in a, in a, with a great name. And uh, thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feel excited now.